My name is Samantha Roberts. Um, my current role in the NHS is professional lead for Dorset Healthcare. I manage the temporary workforce. I came across the uh, Elizabeth Garrett Anderson programme a couple of months into my role in Dorset Healthcare. I'd been nominated by my then Director of Mental Health. I had been a nurse for 28 years and over the years I'd done various courses but none of them were on a formal basis so I went from naught to a master's overnight. The programme has taught me to take a step back and look in the mirror and imagine what it's like to be led and to be managed by me. As a team manager, I have become more aware, more tolerant of others and how they behave, taking into consideration my behaviour and how they may respond to that. As a result of my time on the programme, I've been able to get my team of administrators to look from a clinical perspective to understand that what they do does impact on patient care. Throughout the programme, I've been able to lead and develop my team to a point where we have saved the organisation in the region of five and seven million pounds on temporary staffing. Programmes like the Elizabeth Garrett Anderson are absolutely essential to the future of the NHS in terms of developing leaders. One of the most important things I got out of it was being a resilient as an individual to take a step back and not take things personally when I felt that my personal integrity has been questioned. If you think about the demands on the NHS in terms of targets and finances and meeting the needs and expectations of patients, it's often difficult for people who haven't had any formal leadership training to be resilient around that and not take things personally and not see it as an individual failing. I think the programme and programmes like this help with that. Having access to programs like the Elizabeth Garrett Anderson or the Nye Bevin. Everybody should do them or, or at least have access to them, particularly those who are wanting to move up into management roles, leadership roles, and then go on and lead organisations in directors and chief exec roles. If you're not used to studying at a master's level, you would need to put those extra hours in because you have to put your learning into practice and to enable it to embed in your everyday thinking. But it's worth it. And despite the fact that it was a hard work for two years, I would do it again. To anyone considering doing the programme, I would recommend it to anyone who is in a position of leading or managing a team. Be prepared for hard work, but it's worth it. Really, really worth it.